Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're in Sins 4 again and today I'm doing a the next part of my building holiday homes in Sins 4 um, series I guess. Um, so next well, I decided to do um, the island living Sulani holiday home um, but I didn't want to do like the basic like batch or beach house um you know I wanted to do something a little bit different for this one because I just did a renovation for my last one and I did want to do a build for this one so I decided to build a houseboat um so it's not it won't be functional as a boat but it looks like a boat and it's a Sims 4 so I wasn't too bothered was like trying to make sure it was like and like it looked like a boat but like the outside it looks like a boat but like the inside's not gonna have all the like the boat features and everything so that was my idea um it's two stories the main living is on the downstairs and then the upstairs is just the bedroom um just because i thought that you know you want it, it might be a bit privater you know up you're going up you know if you have gifts or anything then I don't really know this, but I, I was actually thinking, because it is quite large, I ended, ended up making it one bedroom. I probably could have made it two because of the size of the actual bow. I didn't realize how big it was until I was inside, like, building, like, decorating, um, I should say. Um, but, I mean, it's too late now. Um, it's done. I did struggle, though, trying to find stuff to put in the boat, I guess. Um, uh, so my I was originally going to do so I have to only use base game and the pack that comes with the holiday stuff um, for each so I was I had to build in Sulani um, but like for my first one I did I think I used a lot of outdoor retreat because it was outdoor retreat with this one because of the style I wanted to go for the boat I ended up not using as much island living as I should have um, it's more base game but I mean it's not the end of the world it's still you know it's still kept with the brief it's just not as in the style because I just didn't really want that kind of I'm living style um for a, for like this modern boat that I was going for um so just just didn't even like I still tried to incorporate as much as I could but if it didn't go with my, my style I just wouldn't even bother um so but yeah that's basically the rules of this series I guess um so I kind of mixed and matched the window some of them are a bit more old like boat style some of them are a bit more modern um and yeah there is one thing i didn't make base game or i'm living so i still wanted something that you could control the boat with i guess um in that systems for it so i end up using the cats and dogs like steering wheel um so that it looks like you could control the boat <laughs> but i mean it doesn't really matter um but that's like the only thing that's not in the brief so and it's not the end of the world if it's not there but yeah um so moving on to the inside now um I, so there's two bathrooms in this build so there's two bathrooms but not two bedrooms because i'm i, I could have fit a second bedroom in here but it's it's fine um i end up putting a piano instead to make it a bit more like grand i don't really know but yeah um, so it's kind of like a mixture of like the modern style that I was going for mixed with some contemporary I guess like the outside is a bit more modern and, and the inside is a bit more contemporary I guess with some island living items to give it a slightly bit of an island feel um, kind of style I guess um, so I use the island living counters and then because the shelves that come with the Iron Living Kitchen don't come in plain white, which is stupid. Uh, I had to use um, a base game um, shelves, a countertops, I guess, not countertops. I don't know. Anyway, um, yep, to create this um, kitchen. Um, and then I went for some blue tiles. Uh, so basically, this is like a white and blue house theme. So it's got. Um, 
a little more of a as it's still got like that ocean vibe it's just um you know it's like because i feel like that's like the most like coastal kind of colors and i feel like if you're going to do modern beach it's going to have to be blue and white so that's why i end up going for those um and then i take two island living chairs and put them together to make us a are they called sectionals whatever they're called um those chairs um and then i you i was going to use the island living rug for this one but i end up going for a blue rounded rug to make the space work a little better um and then i slice down an island living uh table um just to it just worked with the space a little more and yeah and then the tv's just on the wall like that because it, i thought it worked with that space a bit more than having like how it was like i don't really know um but yeah and then i have a little boat on my like side table uh, up underneath the tv because but it's like an old style boat i just thought it would be cute to have that um and i add a little a uh, bunch of like pictures onto this wall to make it a bit more um it's just something there I guess um so it's not as boring but yeah I do change it slightly though because I didn't like how it was placed but anyway uh, so the dining room I just use a base game table and then the island living chairs um because again to bring in like a slightly modern contemporary but then you got the iron living elements so it still gives it you know um and then i just add some like more decorations to the wall just to make this a little more exciting i end up going for a wood with the same wood they had on the outside for the inside to fit that's a boat um I d yeah i don't know if that is it actually right but i mean that's what i end up doing so the walls are already quite patterned but they're also this also still makes it look at you know beer if you don't have anything on the wall so i made sure to add as much wall decorations as i could um and yeah <laughs> don't really know um and then so i add end up adding a desk as well because just to fill out that space um and it's just your ordinary desk again with the iron living chairs and then base game desk um tons of clutter just to make it look a little less boring thing you know um and then uh, the bathroom is quite you know standard it's just um it's quite it was actually quite a big bathroom due to the fact to how much size i had in the boat um so i just um added a is it like a double sink i guess um i forgot the, what the actual name for them are and um, a bath and a shower and then tons of decorations as well to make sure that's filled up and not a boring plain bathroom i guess um but yeah that's the bathroom done so this is when i was trying to figure out um what to put i guess in this part um so i end up just putting the piano and then some shelves there um just made sense it's, um to put it behind the piano and then i was going to put some eye living shelves there as well but again they didn't go with my color scheme so i just didn't bother i just went for a base game um bookshelf there and then on the other side had like a, like a bunch of like shelves just to put some more clutter there um so it's not just all paintings everywhere i've been doing that a lot lately where i'm sick of paintings so i'm putting shelves and putting stuff on these so it's still a wall decoration but it's not as boring i guess um and then adding tons of plants to fill out that space because i mean what else are you gonna do <laughs> um and i went for just a light blue rug under the desk i thought that was quite nice um yeah so i ended up using a lot of blue rugs for this um just to because i thought like a lot of the actual furniture is white so use the accessories to bring in the blue i guess um i do size up the kitchen just to make the thing the room feel a lot less large um and then yeah nothing too exciting about that <laughs> um so i end up adding a little like another side table behind the couch because it just filled up the space more and added more decorations to that because clutter is the best way to make a room feel less empty 
that you will see me do <laughs> just continuously just color 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 um and then yeah i felt like this corner was actually a bit too cluttered once i added that um shelf of uh, not sure, uh, hang, hanging coat rack i guess but i ended up removing because just to remove some of that um because over there it was too much you know um and again more side tables because they're actually a great way to fill up the space and you know um so moving on to the upstairs um so this is just the bedroom the bedroom is actually huge so this, i wasn't going to put a, a bathroom upstairs but because of how large i ended up making this i i could have made this two bedrooms but i decided no i'm going to make this like a really fancy um up, like single bedroom I mean if you have a boat you, you, you can't expect to have a nice bedroom so I basically had the bathroom um like it's the, as like a little bit and then had the bed against that and then the two sides with the against like between the bathroom and the next wall I add like it's not like a fancy closet but like a own so like thing like a set of drawers I guess is not like a proper closet because I couldn't use Trimbo decorator ma to make that kind of thing um so I ended up just having to make it the base game version of that I get I guess um I do add a little seating area here because it just filled up the space and it just made sense so this is like the little wardrobe bit for your sit for your sims and then I also add another like cupboard and on the other side of the room just so there's more storage I guess um and the bathroom's quite ordinary um you know it's a, how I do all my bathrooms it's just, just yeah um and then adding more plants and more clutter just to make sure the bedroom doesn't feel too large as well um because it was quite a big space um so yeah do I know what else to say about the bedroom? Just adding the fine touches, I guess. Um, again, bringing that wood from the outside to the inside. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's about that for uh, it for the bedroom. Um, so for adding the final touches now, um, I end up adding a hot pool or hot tub, sorry, um, to the back of the to boat just to add something else there so it wasn't all deck chairs um but i think i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you again for the next part of the series <laughs>